Hey guys, what is up and welcome to a new League of Legends video. For the people that have not heard, Zed is getting nerfed potentially in the next patch, however the nerfs are on the PBE server as of right now. So in this video we will talk about what these changes are, what do they mean for Zed, what potential better changes could have been done, and so on and so forth. Think of it as an overview and an analysis of the change and my thoughts on top of it. So first let me tell you guys what exactly this change is. Well, Zed's ultimate got nerfed and it got nerfed to the point where after you use your ultimate on your target, there is now a 1 second delay before you can use that R button again and go back to that shadow that your ultimate created. So what does that really mean for Zed? Well looking at the clip that you just saw, I want to show you guys once again and you can see that I used my ultimate shadow to go back to dodge Orianna ultimate, but now the new change this will no longer be possible because now I have to wait a full second before I can go back to the shadow. Now believe it or not I'm not super unhappy with the change because I honestly believe that it opens more depth to Zed and his playstyle which to me is actually kind of intriguing because I love very difficult champions and I love finding ways to make them work. So in that sense I guess it is a pretty cool thing and overall I mean you're just gonna have to be able to use your ultimate in much smarter ways now and also at the right times because his ultimate will become not as forgiving as it currently is on the live server. But let us go into the first main topic of this video, the reality of this change. What exactly does it mean? So first things first, this change is most definitely a nerf, there's no question about it, because he can no longer instantly dodge skill shots. For instance, an Ari charm after you ult her, most Aries will throw the charm behind her, but a lot of the Aries cannot time it precisely, so that gives that an opportunity to go back to his shadow and dodge the charm. And this applies for many other things, for instance, an Orianna ultimate like you saw earlier, Cassiopeia ultimate, Annie stun, Brand stun, and a lot of things like that. So your ultimate is suddenly limited to how much you can outplay your opponents. So this obviously hurts Zed in a bad way and it overall increases his skill cap even further even though he already has among the higher skill caps in League of Legends. So this will scare away a lot of new players trying to learn Zed. Also tower diving will be much more difficult like you saw earlier for instance because now once again you cannot go back to the shadow instantly so you're kind of forced to almost take two tower shots maybe even a skill shot or just an ability in general. And team fighting this is probably the biggest issue a lot of newer and average kind of mediocre Zed players have because they just simply do not know what to do in a team fight with this champion. Unfortunately now it is going to be even more difficult because once you finally go into the team fight and you ult the back line whether it's the enemy ADC or mid laner, well a lot of the times you have to use your W to even get to them to use your ultimate, the champions that are appealing for the back line will simply turn on you and CC you down and you'll just get blown up and you can't do a whole lot about it because you can't go back to your shadow instantly. So this makes it even more difficult to find the proper opportunity to go into the team fight and assassinate your target. Overall it just limits Zed's options, I mean he is an outplay type champion so it's a little strange that Ride decided to limit to how much he can outplay a champion and in what way. So that right there is more or less what I think the nerf will mean for Zed. But let's kind of talk about the other potential changes Rai could have done to Zed instead. The strangest thing to me is the fact that previously when Zed got nerfed with his attack speed, Riot stated how they think Zed is a great example of a healthy assassin. But the fact that they're nerfing him clearly proves that he really isn't the healthy assassin according to them. So this makes me wonder if they're really understanding what they're doing or not. I think they should just change maybe some damage abilities, maybe just change the cooldown on his W and make it longer, maybe reduce the ratio scaling on his W as well, but not actually change the functionality of an ability, for example like they did with Akali and her E. But if the change does go through, they shouldn't later on change it back to the way it is currently on the live service, thinking that it was actually a big mistake. And the reason is mainly because it'll just keep changing the playstyle of Zed's ultimate and it won't be really good and somewhat annoying. I'm also predicting that eventually they'll buff this change to 0.5 seconds instead of 1. So those are the things that I think they should have done to Zed instead of this change, but again like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm not exactly all against it, but I'm not exactly for it either. Let's finish off this video by talking about what exactly will happen to Zed now. Assuming these changes come to the live server, which I heard that they are confirmed. Well it's going to be forcing Zed to use his ultimate in much smarter ways. You're not going to be able to get away with a lot of the things you're able to do now. And here are some examples of the smarter ways I think his ultimate will be used. So a common outplay method now will either be to bait out the skill shot and dodge you with your W and then use your ultimate. Pretty much not relying on the second part of your ultimate to dodge the skill shot but just going in for the all in and sort of punishing the mistake. Or you can throw out your W just before you use your ultimate. As you appear with your ultimate you can go back to that W location to pretty much instantly dodge the skill shot, kind of replicating what Zed's ultimate shadow does currently on the live server. And then go back to your R later on to go in for the kill but this is all assuming that you initially ulted your target point blank. You 
have to be a lot smarter with how you use flash and use it a lot more often as well into your rotation in order to actually be more mobile after you land from your ultimate and be able to dodge the skill shots and just be slippery which kind of forces that to be much more reliant on flash which i don't like or the final thing is to just simply rely on your prediction abilities and just use your ultimate to dodge out the ability coming in at you. And overall this will probably be the hardest way to do it and outplay your opponent because it's just a guessing game. But that is pretty much it for this video guys, those are the Zed changes, those are my thoughts on it as well, what I think will happen to Zed and so on and so forth. If you did enjoy please throw in a like, share it with your friends and please check out my other videos as well and I'll see you next time. Peace. <laughs>